scalp start itching? Is it just in one specific spot or? Looking at your chart notes, your last dose of medication was about an hour and a half ago. Okay. It might be a side effect of the medication. It can also be a part of healing. So it may also be related to your incision. But we'll take a look, okay? Get to the bottom of it. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. Anything else going on? Okay, just open your eyes for me, okay? And her chest, all right? Take a deep breath in for me. and tear back. Temperature of your skin, the backs of my hands. You know the drill. Okay. 
take a look at your scalp. Pain or discomfort while I look at your scalp. Do you see some redness extending into your scalp?
Sometimes looks like movements from decision side. It doesn't look like an infectious process. It looks more like. measure the earth, you know, the other side here. Probably will be needing to use it again. Okay. This document for numbers here. have some redness extending from the incision site, but there's no swelling or duration. 
and it's not extending like in streaks down the face, okay? I'm not worried about it, but I have measurements, so we will definitely keep track, okay? Okay, so... <clears throat> examine your legs and feet, okay? Just to make sure that everything is working properly. You're getting enough blood flow. There's no nerve issues, right? We also want to make sure there's no signs of edema, so it's important. First, just looking at your legs. in your extremities. Everything is a nice pink, so it looks like you're all good there. So I'm going to just change up the blanket so I can take a look at your feet. That should be First, I'm going to push my hand against your feet, and then I want you to resist me, okay? So, push, push, push. Good. Other side. Push, push, push. Good. Close your eyes. Tell me which foot you feel my pinwheel, okay? So. Good. Good. Done yet. Excellent. Okay. One more thing before I close. Before I have you open your eyes, is I want you to tell me if what you feel on your toes is sharp or dull, okay? So. Good. 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 Excellent. 
You can open your eyes, sorry. Here, arms here, the elbow. Sensation testing on your upper extremities, okay? Yep. The double pinwheel too. Check your legs one more time, okay? Close your eyes. Tell me what side you feel. Good. Good. Like that. 
was kind of a gimme, wasn't it? Excellent. All right. No sign of neuropathy in the legs. So close your eyes again. We're gonna do your arms. Well done with that part. a few times, okay? Link to threat. Just keep your eyes open. Alright, just going to be looking at what point where my finger gets close to your eye that you blink, okay? Okay. So. Good. Then our extinction test. You remember how this one goes? Yep. I'm going to be squeezing your shoulders. I want you to let me know when you feel me let go and which side, okay? Q-tip here, cotton bud. So just close your eyes, okay?
good. as well. Can I just open your mouth? Looks good. So I'm not seeing any. So I'm not seeing any redness extending down the neck or chest or even in your mouth or throat. So that's good. It's localized to your head. I do think that the itching and the redness is related to the healing process. It is common for things to get itchy when they're healing. It's annoying, but it is common. But I just want to take...
really spaced out the scalp. I'm gonna keep an eye on that redness, okay? And I want you to keep track of that itching. If it starts to get worse, I want you to call a nurse in here right away so I can be paged and we can examine it. I'm also going to keep track of the redness and continue to measure it. Make sure it's not growing. My exam is all done. I just need to take a few notes. So if you want to take a nap or anything, it's totally okay. Okay. 